Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Hey, y'all. I am filming on my phone, so hopefully the quality is okay. But I'm leaving them all. But I went to my doctor's appointment this morning. Everything looks good. She says she likes what she sees. I do too. Um, I don't have to wear the gauze anymore. So um, I can kind of get back to doing the things that I like to do. But of course you still have to take it easy because this is just week two. I can fully shower, I can go to the gym. I can't do like anything that's gonna cause tension to the area. So um, she said I can go to the beach, I can go to the pool. Of course I'm not going to the pool or going to the beach. But um, you know, they don't want you to be fully submerged underwater for longer than 30 minutes because I do have some scabs and y'all know, you know, once they get wet for too long, like they'll start getting white and peeling and stuff like that. And we don't want that. So I ain't doing nothing extra. Okay. I'm still going to take it easy um, because I want to get the best results possible. So I'm planning on going to the pool or the beach, but I am going to the gym. <laughs> that is the update. I'm, I'm really, really happy with the way that it looks. It looks really good. Like the scars look good. Everything looks really good. The breast that I told you guys that was really tight. This probably was my larger side. This one is the one that has the scabs around the areola. Um, this one has some, but not like this one. So I'm still going to baby it, like I said, because I do want to have the best results possible. She told me that I can change my sports bra out because y'all know I was wearing the one that had the latches in the front. And that's just to make it easier on yourself because you can't really raise your arm. So it's just easier for you and the doctor when you're going back and forth to your doctor visits. You know, she said if my arms and stuff are still kind of stiff, then I could just switch out to the one with the zipper in the front. I'll be wearing a sports bar for a while, but hold on, because this truck is going super slow. But um, I can change out um, my sports bra, and like I said, if I don't feel comfortable with the one that goes over my head, then she recommended the one with the zipper. So um, I haven't really had to lift my arm, so I really don't know what I'm comfortable with. But like I said, I'm still gonna just Take it easy, baby myself. Look at these little girls. They're so cute. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. I went to Forever 21 because my appointment was at 9.45 and I needed to stay in this area because my nail appointment is at 11 o'clock because I never went last week. I ended up canceling my nail appointment Saturday. So I walked around Forever 21 and I found some little stuff. I found these jeans in there. They're really cute. I have to take them to get them altered in the back, of course. But um, I like them. And then I'll show y'all the stuff that I got when I get home. And then I'll probably try some stuff on. And then um, I'm going to go look for some better sports bras. She just wants to make sure that they're still kind of tight. Just so I'm not bouncing around too much. But I cannot wait to go to the gym. I'm not going to go to the gym today because y'all know I like to go to the gym early in the morning. And also, this week, school is out at 1.15. So, I have to be up there around like 12.45 to get in that line. So, I'm not going to go to the gym today. But not going to the gym like all this time, like, oh, I just, I didn't like that. Which I'm trying to figure out the best way to go to get to Rena Home Road from here. Because um, I'll go the long way and mess around with me. Uh, what is. I gotta figure this out. Okay, so I'll see y'all when we get to the nail spot and then. Um, and then after I get done with 
that. It'll probably be time for me to go pick up my son, go home, and then I'll show you guys what I picked up from Forever 21. They had these really cute sandals in there. And I my regular size is an eight and a half, but I always get a nine. And um, they had an eight and a half left, and it does fit. So I'm like, well, I'm getting these because they're so cute. They were like some little um, dad sandals that didn't have the strap on the back. And then they were beige. They had like pearls all around. It was so cute. They had like a gold buckle, the cutest. So when I got up to the register, I had asked the girl, I said, can you check and see if you guys have a nine somewhere in the store? And because you know they can just scan the code and it'll tell them like what sizes they have available. And then I noticed that the buckle was broke on the eight and a half. So I'm like, oh. so the girl checked and she said no, they didn't have a nine. And I think that was the biggest size that they had, and that one was broke. So I'm gonna go online and look for them because they they were really really cute. Y'all, Louis killed his fish. How long you had it? Like a week. Oh my god. Oh, who the f ate that sh Let me see. <laughs> what the f ate it? <laughs> the goldfish ate it. What the hell? <laughs> Look at the goldfish. Where he at? He's right there. Oh my gosh, he bit it. fish hungry oh yep yeah, she does you google it oh yeah, yeah. she's a yeah what's her name erica let me see how she look she she she's right there you see her I, i've never seen her before Fuck. <laughs> my nail polish tip yesterday but i think i'm going to do red this time if you guys have been here for a while y'all know that was once my signature color i used to wear red all the time that was the only color that i wore so i'm gonna go red today i don't know what happened because it's it's it's, it's older see it's the same thing the same thing see i told you the same thing Get this one. Get this one. Let me see. Open that one again. This is more darker. Um, this is more darker. Look. See? Okay, I get that. I told you that, man. Oh, Give her back her stuff. Say hey to my people. I ain't seen you in a while. What's up? <laughs> and y'all always ask me about my nail polish, so this is it. This is the color that I'm getting, 475, and this is the brand that he uses. He doesn't use OPI. Alright, let me show y'all what I picked up. So this is the first thing that I picked up, and I didn't try any of this stuff on. I did try on the jeans. Um, this top right here. Because y'all know jean, jean is like on trend so you'll see a lot of jean stuff in the stores right now um i did try this shirt on when i got home but i got this shirt in a large which i'm happy i did because i started to get it in a medium i didn't know it was a half top but it is the cutest i'm gonna just button on one button because it's a little these buttons are a little hard to button up I don't want to button it up all the way. But how cute is this top? Like, this is so cute. They had these shorts over there. And I think this goes pretty good. But I think I'm going to look like a hoochie with these on. Because these are... <laughs> the biggest size that they had was a size large. And look how small these are. But they are stretch. So let me try them on. I can't fit the shorts. The shorts are too small. They don't have enough um, stretch. Well, here's something I could put my hair up. So y'all, can y'all see? This top is just so cute. I'm gonna keep this top and just wear it with something. Cause I really like this top. It's so cute. It's a half top and it's loose at the bottom. And it's not really giving boxy because it's higher in the top. 
and lower in the back. So this is really cute. I'm pretty sure I can find a pair of jeans that's close to this color. And like I said, I found these shorts, but they're too tight. I can't even get them up. They're real small. I thought I would be able to squeeze in them because they have stretch, but girl, my legs were saying no rod. And let me show y'all these pants. I tried these pants on in the store. They're so cute. They're high waist. I will have to get the back taken in because of course, um, y'all you know, know this little ugly part right here, but they're really cute. I love the length. They're cute. I always find really cute jeans in Forever 21. So yeah, grab these. Keeping this top for sure. It's super cute. Uh, what else I bought? Let me put on my pants. I found this one little top. Hold on, y'all. Oh, I gotta pull this. I gotta pull this over my head like a doom. I found this little top right here. It looks super bright on camera. Let me back up. This little top right here. Of course, I can't wear this yet. Let me try it on. I can't wear it yet. But, let me slow down. Oh. shoulders you can wear it on the shoulders if you wanted to and I got this in a size large still my regular size because I don't want nothing too small but just imagine it without the this is how it would look without the um I love tops like this with these little puff sleeves. I love it. So, and then I would wear like some, um, my bottom would be loose fitting. So I'll probably wear, um, I have some wide leg white pants. I have that white skirt that I showed y'all. So yeah. And then I got a few things to show y'all cause I went out yesterday. But yesterday I took myself, let me lift y'all up some. Yesterday I took myself out to brunch and I walked to Gucci because when we went in there and I got those shades, I saw these earrings and I couldn't stop thinking about them. So I ended up getting them. Um, I'll pop up the reel right here. Happy Tuesday. So this morning I decided to go on a solo brunch date. I had the lobster roll, which is one of my favorites, and then a caramel latte. So, so good. And then I did a mirror check. I decided to walk down to Gucci. I've been eyeing these earrings for a while and decided to treat myself because why not? Earrings are secured, so now I'm headed home. They're so cute. And you can wear these for any occasion. So cute and I was watching um, Selling Sunset and y'all know the real thin one I know all of them thin but the really really thin girl that's really tall I forgot her name oh she always looked really cute but she had these on too I seen that episode last night and then let me see I went to Target because I needed a couple of basic tees which i started to go to h&m today but i ran out of time because it was time for my appointment i'm taking these tops back though because i had bought like some little i don't know why the white has that little glare on it like that that's annoying is my lens let me clean my lens real quick hold on y'all right. 
clean the lens off. Okay. Okay. So I grabbed these from Target. Now I might keep the black one, but the white one I'm going to take back because the black one I could wear to the gym. But I'm going to show y'all why I want to take these back. And this is still in a size large. But I can wear this um, this black one to the gym but the white one I'm going to take back because I ain't wearing no white top to the gym I bought these earrings from Target here is the first set so cute and then this is the second pair really pretty from Target. They're Cuban Saconia, of course, um, but they're adorable. These are 14 karat gold plated. So let me. What earrings I got in here? I got some earrings in here right now. And these are my diamond earrings that my mom bought me. Y'all, excuse my lace lifting on the side, y'all. Alright, I'm going to try this on. I love these so much. Okay. And I have a few holes in my ear. Let me, hold on. Oh, yeah. How cute. I think it's cute. <laughs> I like mine spaced out, which I have. Like, I have one, like, right here where my little sister got hers pierced. Mine is pierced right there, too. So if I was to wear like a little stud right there and then the puff at the top, I think that would be really cute. So yeah, that is everything that I got y'all. So let me get this receipt. Even though I don't really need it. Um, but I'm gonna take the shirts back to Target probably tomorrow once I leave the gym and then the jean shorts back to Forever 21 because I can't fit those. Y'all want to see how the earrings fit because I know somebody's saying show us how the earrings look. <laughs> I got you sis. I know my girls. I know what y'all be thinking. And you, like I said, you could wear this with a pretty dress if you're, you know, if you're getting dressed up, or if you're wearing like some jeans and you want a little pop of something, you can put these on. You can wear them with whatever you want to. They're really cute. I like my lace. So cute. This is how they look. Really cute. I like them a lot. Maybe. My little half up, half down. The next wig that I get, um, straight wig, I'm gonna do the half up, half down, and then I'm gonna curl it myself. So yeah, I love these jeans. And y'all remember those other jeans that I bought from Target that I wanted to take in. Child, they still sitting in my trunk because I did go to a cleaners, but they didn't do alterations. And I never went to a different place. So I still have to find somewhere. But they do have an alteration place in the mall. It's right by Forever 21. I might go there tomorrow since I have to go there anyway. So hopefully I'll remember. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday yet. Cause I gotta say you're looking like a gift for me. First day back in the gym was great. Um, I did some cardio and then I did legs today. It was really nice. It felt really good to be in there. 
Um, I didn't tell y'all, but this morning I started my silicone strips. Um, but while I was in the gym, you know, just thinking about different things, um, I decided that what I'm gonna do is during the day, I'm going to use the bio oil. And then at night while I sleep, I'll use the silicone strips just because you don't want to use both at the same time because they're not going to hold. And I did use bio oil last night, which my skin um, soaked up most of the moisture. But, you know, once I get out of the shower, I'll just go ahead and put the silicone strips in so they'll be on for a good eight hours. And then when I wake up, I'll do the bio oil. That's the way that I'm going to do it. So during the day, I won't be wearing the silicone strips. Um, I know that there is um, the silicone drops that you can use because I was watching some girl on YouTube talking about, you know, the way that she cared for her scars and she talked about that silicone, the silicone drops instead of the strips. So there's only, I think it's only like four silicone pads that come in the box for the scar away. And what I do is just cut them up into thin strips and just line them up along the scar areas. I have two strips left. Um, so I'm gonna use the strips tonight while I sleep, like I said, and then I'll go get the silicone drops. What was that? That kind of looked like my uncle pulling up at the gym. I don't know what kind of car he is. Oh, that's not him. Oh my gosh, he looked just like my uncle. My uncle Kiki. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I just decided to tell y'all that real quick. So now I'm going to go check my P.O. box because I haven't been all week. So I'm going to go check my P.O. I didn't go last week either. I'm going to check my P.O. box and then we're going to head to the mall, Target, and then back home. All right, y'all. So I'm on my way to the post office, like I said. But if you guys have been here with me for a while, then you guys know that red was once my signature color. When I first started my YouTube channel, that was the only color that I wore. I just love the way that the red looks on my skin tone. Um, so when my nail tech was in the other location, of course he had, you know, a bigger selection, but because he's starting his own thing, he doesn't have some of the colors that I usually wear. He has the new color that I wear, but the red, he doesn't have that color. And this one, you guys can't really tell on camera, but it has like an orange undertone and I really don't like that. I think this is called Fuchsia Fury or Fury Fuchsia. I can't really remember. I've never used that color before. I like to use OPI Big Apple Red. That is my favorite color. And so I think I'm gonna go somewhere else and just let them polish my nails the color that I want because I can't stop looking at it. I don't like the orange undertones kind of look like a tomato a little bit and i don't like that so um that's another thing that i'm gonna do today is go ahead and get my nail polish changed because we tried to get as close to the big apple red as we could but i don't like the way that this looks and like i said on camera it looks pretty like me looking at it it looks pretty but in person it looks like a tomato going to the alteration spot first. I've already returned the shorts and the other 21. And now I'm going to this alteration spot. Then H&M. And then we're going to Target. Oh, great. They're closed. Oh, they might only do dresses. I'm not too sure. Oh, man. They might open at 11. I guess I will walk around in here for a bit and then I'll see if they do also. Oh, I need to go get my nails polished too. I forgot. I'm gonna do it in here. Might as well. I'm gonna get some of these sports bras from out of the other corner room. I got some of these. I'll show y'all when I get home. Here's the shoes I was telling y'all about yesterday. They're so cute. Aren't they 
don't have my size. All right, y'all, I'm back home. Here's my nails. So much better. Now this is my favorite color right here. This is the OPI Big Apple Red. So, I was able to drop the jeans off. So I dropped off all three pair. Um, the lady name is Lola. So she says she does everything. If you ever go in the Avenues Mall, you'll notice that she has like a lot of prom gowns and stuff like that in the window. Um, but that's just because it's that season. But she does everything. So I'm just straightening y'all up. I love my new tripod. Um, so let me just show y'all a few things that I picked up. I'm not going to try it on. You guys will eventually see this stuff. Um, so from H&M, I just bought some of these little basic tanks. So this is a black one. Um, I could still wear a sports bra under this, but just wear like a regular outfit. So I got this one. And then I bought this. This is more like a ribbed cream one. I bought both of those in large. And then I bought these. And these are just like some of those um, linen flare pants y'all know I love these pants so much I love pants like this so I bought these to go with this top right here just something nice and fluid but it'll still you know be my vibe so I bought that and then from forever 21 Y'all, I'm going to always like Forever 21. I don't care how much money I make. I'm going to always dibble and dabble in Forever 21 because I just, they have some cute stuff. And I remember back in the day, like when, when they were pretty new, they always had really pretty dresses. Like I would always get my pretty dresses from Forever 21. So I always love Forever 21. Um, I bought some little black pasties. I've never used these before, but... I decided to get them because I have an outfit that I'm gonna need um, paces. Not right now, cause y'all know I can't go braless right now, but I just bought it because I seen it and I was th just thinking about those last night. So I grabbed some. So this is from Forever 21 and it's just this black top. Let me show you how it looks. It's similar to the one that I bought from that company, Micah's, Micah, Mecca's, Micah's. It might be Micah's. But yeah, this is the top. Can y'all see how it is? So it's just like a little, it has the buttons in the front. And then this part right here just goes around um, your torso area. Really cute top. I got this in the size Oh, it says extra large on the tag because I wanted it to be a little loose fitting because it's already showing, you know, so much skin. But on this tag, it says a large. I hate that. I hate when they do that because, like I said, because I'm showing, you know, skin, right? I want the shirt to be loose. Balance. <laughs> and then I saw this top. What would you call this? They say it's called like a sweater top, but I would say like a um what would you call the material? I can't think of the material. My mom had on some shorts that was like that this type of material. They were so cute. I was like, look at you. But I bought this top right here. I'm not too sure if I could fit it. I bought it in a size large. I wouldn't wear the paces with this. I would wear like a little bralette or something like that under it. But it does have a little bit of stretch. But I thought that this would be really cute with like some of those nice little flowy pants or even some jeans. That would look really cute. And then I found this little adorable top. And I plan on wearing this with some jeans whenever I'm able to wear it. But I just didn't want to leave it in there because it was so adorable. So this one right here. Cute little white simple top. I thought it was so cute. That's all. That's so sweet. So I bought that. And then the rest is a few sports bras. I did order some last night. And 
you don't really want to buy a lot of sports bras after your breast reduction because especially when you're still in like these early stages like I am because they're still swollen so you don't really want to end up with a bunch of sports bras that you don't really like the way that they fit um these are very stretchy so I got these in a size medium that's really it looks really little I know but um like I said I still want to have some compression but I, I want something small like this so when I wear my regular clothes, I don't have to worry about the ugly sports bras. Like y'all know the ones that I'm wearing right now are the ones with the latches in the front. And it comes a little higher up. So if I wear a button down or something like that, you can see it. So I want to get something that will be, you know, easier for me to wear under my clothes. So I bought the black. I bought the tan. And I bought the white. And this is something, you know, after I'm out of this phase, I can still like wear these under my tops and stuff like that. So I was thinking about that when I was buying this stuff. And then this is the sports bras that I was really looking for because it's the one with the spaghetti straps. And then it has the deep plunge right there. So I'm going to see how I feel as far as the support. And if it's not enough support, then I won't wear them for right now. But I can also wear those later on down the line. And I also got these in a medium. So, yeah, that is what I picked up. I'm going to try this stuff on, see how I feel about it. And then y'all know what I don't like, can't fit, whatever. It's going back. I did check the silicone strips. I'm going to show y'all just a little sneak peek. They did, they are holding on. So here is how they look. I put these on this morning. And y'all know I've been to the gym and they're still on there. So I'm excited about that. They're not cheap. And like I said, they come four in a pack. I think they were like $24 or something like that with only four strips in the pack. I still want to try the silicone drops. See how I like that. And then, you know, I'll decide from there. But I'm, it's good to know that these aren't, you know, just slipping around everywhere. And then I got some packages in the mail in my P.O. box. Excuse me. I already know this one is a wig. I have a bunch of hair reviews coming up and those of you that don't like the hair reviews you can easily just skip past that if you're not one to wear units and you're not interested just skip ahead <laughs> okay this one is from nadula that i'm reviewing that'll be next week and then i need something to open this with do i have anything in here oh yeah Let's see what this is really quick. Y'all, it felt so good to be back in the gym. I'm going to do a few lunges and stuff like that because I didn't do that. And I do want to make sure that I am doing my exercises like I'm supposed to. Oh, this is PR from Lancome. Try to keep it intact so I could do a cute little unboxing on Instagram. Uh, Lancome Lash Bar. It smells so good in here in this box. Um, so it is. Like I said, I'm trying to be gentle with it because I'll do a quick little unboxing on Instagram. Just a bunch of mascaras. Thank you so much, Lancome. So exciting. I love getting PR. Cause that's just letting you know. You never know who's watching you. <laughs> Let's put this back in there. And I'll do it with the 
box is so pretty. It's like a little net. So I'm getting ready to edit this vlog that you guys are watching right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all socials. I am Sharika B, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't take it personal, but I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away.